just when things in our season were starting to go really well, we've hit a stumbling block. Angelo O'Bonner has sustained an ACL injury and is going to be out for a minimum of three months, a maximum of nine months. If the injury is to the fullest extent, it means he's going to be done for the rest of the season. This is a major blow for the West Ham defence because O'Bonner is arguably our best centre-back if you look at it from the prolonged perspective. O'Bonner's been West Ham's most solid centre-back for a long time. Uh, he's a left-footed player as well and someone who really keeps things on lock in the central defence. He has formed a great partnership with Kurt Zuma already and Zuma is arguably going to be one of the signings of the season. And he's going to be the West Ham signing of the season at this rate because he's been immense in the back line. But Ogbonna's really been a main man for his leadership, aggressive tackling and his strength. Um, Ogbonna sustained the injury in the win over Liverpool. Um, he did look like he was struggling a little bit in the first half, I've got to say. Um, he did clash with Hotter. And um, I think that even before that, he was struggling to really move around the pitch. So he came off and on came Craig Dawson. Losing Ogbonna is a blow. I said that. I don't really need to say it anymore. But the thing is, we can actually look for internal options to replace him for the meantime. Craig Dawson has never really been a letdown since he made his debut for West Ham in December 2020. And uh, I've always seen a lot of uh, graft and hard work from him every time he's played. Um, Dawson, I think, is now going to be our starting centre-back. And if not him, it's probably going to be Issa Diop. But I'd probably say Dawson over Diop right now. Even though Diop and Dawson work well together, I think Dawson's just going to replace Ogbonna for, them, for now. Um... But the thing is, even though Obon is now done for possibly the rest of the season, it should be a bit of a kick to probably look into future and younger centre-back options. Yes, we have Jamal Baptiste in the academy, but he is not going to be given his chance right away. He's got to work his way in there like Ben Johnson and Declan Rice did. Um, I think that in January or next summer, we're going to need to look at another centre-back option. Okay, a younger centre-back. And I'll be doing the um, scout and report videos in January again for targets I'd recommend. I think the the James Tarkowski room was a kickstart in again. I really don't want him at West Ham right now because he's 29 years old and he's not really keen on coming to us from what I've heard from reports. But... Ogbonna is now 33 years old and is in the last year of his contract. Apparently, a one-year contract extension is meant to be triggered, according to Claret and Hugh. But I don't know for sure what's going to happen there. I think he deserves another uh, extension because he's been such a loyal servant to West Ham and he's been such a key player over the last six years. But losing him to an injury um, is a blow because... We've gotten to this stage in the season where we're 11 games in. And in the back of my mind, even though we had a lot of this success on the pitch, I was worried that an injury to a major player would come. And if it wasn't going to be Mikel Antonio, it was probably going to be Ogbonna. Because Ogbonna's had a few injury troubles in the past as well. Um, and he is 33 years old, like I say. He's getting towards the autumn of his career. And we need to start looking at a younger option, like I say. Yeah, I mean, like I said, Jamal Baptiste would be good, but I don't want to rush him into the team. I think we need to look at another centre-back in either January or the summer, at the very least. Now, even though we currently have depth in the centre-back position, I mean, you know, we got, like I said, we've got Diop and Dawson. Oh, we've even got Frederick Alves, thinking about it. Frederick Alves is out on loan at Sunderland, and he's coming back after his loan spell. So, I don't know, this... Moyes has spoken about competition in the squad anyway, and this centre-back's box is going to be up for grabs. So Dawson, I think, is going to get the start from now on. And if not, it's going to be Diop as the backup centre-back there anyway. Um, losing Obono is still a massive loss, but at least he, we can replace him with somebody else for now. And, you know, we had this issue, I think, last season, actually, when Obono got injured. Our defence fell apart a little bit. And as soon as Obonna was given the all-clear to go ahead, he was immediately back in the starting eleven. Um, 
that's how important he is to the team, I think. The fact that he's going straight back into the eleven after he's recovered from an injury. That's what I think is going to happen. Well, actually, because it's an ACL injury and he's probably going to be out until, well, what, May-June time? Uh, or something like that. Would it be May-June? No, it'd probably actually be around, if it's going to be nine months, September. So if he's not back around in September, he's probably going to have to fight for his starting place again. In all honesty. Because this is different circumstances now. But yeah, you know, losing him, it's gutting to lose Ogbonna. I couldn't believe it. Like, as soon as I saw the news, I was like, for God's sake, no. And even now, the thing is, Mikel Antonio has gone on international duty with Jamaica and could be playing in those games. What's going to happen if he snaps his hamstring? Which is probably going to happen at some point this season. We're going to be screwed even more. The Ogbonna injury is the first major setback of the season. But I hope it's not one that's too damaging and too detrimental. Thankfully, we've got backup centre-backs in Craig Dawson, Issa Diop. So, and, you know, they can start in the team as well. Um, for Dawson to start in that, it's not going to be a problem to fill in that spot. He's been a starting centre-back before. He's done well in that position. He had a pretty good season last season. But now I think it's going to be a time for him to, you know, step up and fill those shoes again. Thank you very much for watching this video. I just wanted to give my brief overview on Obada's injury news and just talk about it very briefly. If you liked the video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you all soon.